Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I'm in my entryway because today I'm gonna to show you how I've organized a camp kitchen in a DeWalt rolling toolbox. Hit the subscribe button and follow me as I give you weekly tips and tools to get your preps and travel organized. When I'm not traveling, I'm prepping. Today I'm gonna to show you an organized travel camp kitchen. All right, so let's go down here from my entryway into the little hallway area. I've put the DeWalt rolling toolbox that I got from Home Depot here in this area so that I have the space to film it. And I got it from Home Depot because it was cheaper uh, to ship it here to my house than it was on Amazon. So check out Home Depot first. I'll put a link down in the description box for both Home Depot and Amazon. So I got this idea about three years ago and I finally did it. Uh, from this channel called The Prepared Wanderer, and I'll link his video. It's totally not my idea. I totally got it from him. And then I also saw another video from The Rugged Life, and he has a great um, organization for how he's used this, so I'll put that link also. Okay, so what you see here is on the outside, I just used a command strip and put this patch that says do more than just exist. It's basically for camping and hiking. And I've put the patch there to designate it as the camping one because I have one exactly like this for my tools. This is what it looks like from this side. And now on this side, this is the back and this is the top. All right, so in order to open it, uh, you press this push and lift up the handle at the same time. Press the push button, lift up the handle, and you have to press the push button or the handle won't move. See, it locks it. And then I can press the footing back here and tilt it up and then it can be moved. And the nice thing we went camping with this, it definitely fits inside the back of our SUV. Okay, so now to open up the whole thing, you have to lift up this metal handle here, keep it up. And then you put your foot here in this spot and then push it along. Okay, my foot is there. I'm holding the metal up and that's what I mean by push it along. And then it opens like that. Now for this top part to open, you just have to lift up the metal clasps just like a regular toolbox. Okay, and then it opens up this way. From above, it looks like this. And then when it's fully open, it looks like this. The great thing with this top part here, you could put different things to lay on top, whether it's your utensils or cooking utensils or plates or cups. You can use it as like a little table or if you have little things, you could put them in here. And it's a great uh, extra counter space. Okay, let's start with the bottom compartment. So here is my utensils kit, and I have a separate video for this. Um, if you wanna check that out, I'll put it in the iCards above, but I'll open it up just to show you that all the utensils I need for cooking when we camp are all in here. So this is my double sink. It has handles here and a handle in the middle. You could just use one side or you could use both. I usually have clean water here and then this is where I wash the dishes and then use that as a clean water. And then it's really easy to carry and it folds and it helps save space when you fold it up like that. And then in here I have, this is new actually. I finally changed out all my pans. So this is the brand jet boil and then as you saw inside there this sink this double sink fits partially inside that uh, the jet boil pan that's why it could fit in there okay so now i have a collapsible sink just like any collapsible uh, items they just you just pull it up like that this is my one burner stove so it's basically like that here i have paper towels so it's basically a paper towel holder but you could use anything on it and it just turns and turns and you could tie it around the tree once you put it back together or once you need to put it sew it away you just keep it like that and it stays tidy some aluminum foil here this i saw with people uh, doing van life basically it makes your water become like a faucet it pumps 
the water from here and it comes out of this spout here. And then I have the propane can. Then I have these holders here, two of them. And they can attach anywhere like that, okay? I have microfiber towel. I've had this little container forever and I have a little sponge. And then this is a cooling towel. Just in case someone who's like cooking or maybe helping me cook and they wanna cool down, I have something for them or for myself. Inside these containers, you could see that I've put the label. So I know what goes in there, cooling towel, microfiber towel, sponge, dishwashing liquid. Down here, I have a fruit hammock and I have this thermos, this retro thermos. Then I have a lighter. Inside the, con the toolbox itself, I went ahead and put labels so I know where everything goes. There's a drying rack, the camping pan, sink, foil, paper towels, propane, lighter, fruit macrame, and thermos. Okay, now on to the second tier. And so this part, it comes with these dividers. So you could take them out and make it longer that way. Here I have this little container I think I got from the grocery store. I have a little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. So I have two little ones like that. This is the cover for the three gallon bottle. I have hooks here. I need them and then this is a little uh, plug. This is where I have waterproof matches there. Okay, this kind. You can use these S hooks anywhere in camp. So I just put a few S hooks just to, again, add function to your camping area. Then I have labels down there. And luckily these containers fit perfectly into this spot. Over here I have duct tape, a little clock here, a little light that can just hang with we're cooking at night. So here, duct tape, clock, light. Over here, I have an AeroPress. I have my cups, collapsible cups. So here, if these were not collapsible, you know, it would take up so much more space. And uh, this is a great brand. It's Sea to Summit. I believe that's the name on Amazon. Here, I just have some ground coffee. And then I just have some white sugar packets. This is lemon powder. So here it says coffee, sugar, and creamer. These are the collapsible lanterns. They're solar and they're collapsible, again, to save space. Off, one, brighter, strobe, off. And you could just push it down, collapse this, and then it clicks back into place. So if you don't wanna use the lantern part, you just wanna use this part kind of like a flashlight, it's the same thing. On, brighter, strobe. Off. Look how nicely it all fits. I have our windscreen here. All right, the windscreen looks like this. It's by Camping Moon. Here I have some one gallon Ziploc bag. It has a chip clip, so if we are having chips, we need to close it. I have it here. More Ziploc bags. I think these are the sandwich size. And then a binder clip, again, to use for whatever purpose. And then I have here a rubber band and kitchen trash bags, the 13 gallon size. And then here I have a glow stick off, then the flashlight, strobe on, off. Forex wipes to go. And then here are the labels, glow stick, Ziploc, windscreen, trash bags, disinfecting wipes. All right, for the top section here, I have this tablecloth and has the, you know, it's like the protects it from wet stuff. And then the kind of cloth underneath. And then these are straps. Uh, two of them. Once you lay out the tablecloth, you take these bungees on both ends of the table, you wrap it underneath the table, and you clip it on. Make sure the clip is underneath, though, so that this is not in the way with the stuff that you put on the table, and it worked absolutely great. Underneath here, we have a can opener. This is just from the Dollar Tree. And then here, I have a bungee cord that holds all our plates and our serving plates and utensils and napkins. This is our rice ladle and then a large fork and spoon. And I got these because when you put it on this end, the ladle doesn't hit the surface. For utensils, I got these four. I think I got them from Walmart a long time ago. So it has a spoon, fork, and a serrated knife edge there. And then I had gotten these for when we take road trips and I like them so much that I got some for camping. Okay, so when the strap is detached, it looks like this. Then I have napkins in a Ziploc bag. And then these are our plates and our serving plates. All right, over here I have my collapsible kettle. And 
put up, and it was totally enough space, uh, enough um, capacity for water, and you put it on your stove. It's really nice, and it cleans easily. So once to collapse it, you keep the cover on and just push it down like that. All right, and then it comes with this band just to keep the um, the lid on top. Over here, I have the bowls, collapsible bowls, same. Uh, C, C to Summit. So these bowls, again, they can be used just like as a bowl, a serving bowl. It could be used for soup. It could be even used as a plate. And so that's what it looks like when it's open. Again, I have the light gray, or I have the rust, the light gray, the dark gray, and the green. And they fit so perfectly in this spot here. And then this is an egg holder I got from Walmart. You can put fresh eggs here or even hard boiled eggs. And then over here, I have my condiments bag. Okay, this is what it looks like opened up and it's a regular um, toiletries bag. And that's the whole reason I got it. It was so you could either lay flat like that or I can use the hook and whether hook it onto a tree, I could even hook it onto uh, this spot here. It will touch the floor a little bit there. But these are the main condiments I use for camping. Um, you know, like there's syrup in there since we usually have something like pancakes or French toast when we're camping. Like what I had said earlier, this can be an another um, countertop. Like you could put your plates there. If I have my cup, I could put it here and I could put the utensils there. So when you're preparing your camp kitchen, make sure you know how many people you're preparing it for, the exact things that you will need. And then sometimes by trial and error, you'll realize, you know what? I don't need this two burner stove or I, I need this extra utensil or something like that. And then you, you know, you just keep tweaking and tweaking until it becomes something that is really working for you and the people that you camp with. We might try car camping, so I might have to get new stuff for that. But in the meantime, this is totally the camp kitchen that uh, is, was, is just perfect for us. Hope this helps you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below how you've organized your camp kitchen or if you even go camping. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.